this and tell me a little bit about this year's event. Okay, this is the 47th annual historic Pendleton Spring Jubilee and we're looking at already several thousand people who have joined us. We only opened at 10 o'clock and then got the day started and it has not been slower. <laughs> like it hasn't, hasn't slowed down at all. <laughs> Do you know how many vendors are here this year? Oh yes, um, we have about 80 participants uh, and of course as usual we've juried them. Uh, we judge on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, gosh, back in January our, our December um, deadline fills in about 230 applicants this year uh, and we've winnowed down to some of our old favorites and some of our new, new uh, artists and visitors. Are the numbers back up to pre-COVID numbers? They sure are. Um, so we're, uh, we're, we're still toying with how to lay out the show to make it the most comfortable for the vendors, to make it the most comfortable for our visitors and the businesses. Um, and we found, I think, that perfect hotspot this year. Uh, I have those 80 participants. Um, we've got about five or six feet between each booth, so it really opens up and offers the same air that we kind of needed when it was post-COVID. <laughs> um, uh, we had them 12 feet apart one year, so um, we've, went, we've narrowed it down a bit, but like I said, it, it's really nice to open it back up. And uh, I think we found like our, our sweet spot for those displays and everyone is pretty happy with the walkability and maneuverability of it. And this is the biggest festival of the year for y'all, right? Yes, it's a, it's a pretty big one. Um, so Saturdays, we usually clock in between um, eight and 11,000 folks. Uh, I have someone walking around with a little ticker and uh, we do, we do a, a base number, not like uh, 25,000 people. <laughs> yeah. So we try to stay realistic with what we're counting and what spaces we see people walking in. Uh, and we just accumulate that data throughout, throughout the day. Um, but the whole show is probably set to have us over about 15,000 folks flatline. And then I just love to see even more than that. <laughs> Is there any difference other than like some of the entertainment between Saturday and Sunday? Um, in the entertainment, um, we've got a couple of smaller solo artists. We like to have our openers be a little bit more folksy, a little bit more Americana. Uh, and then we have our big, uh, our, our big show. Uh, we love conservation theory. They're close personal friends of ours uh, and the community loves them. They're such a wonderful family band. Uh, so we have, them, we have them as much as we can here in Pendleton. Uh, and then of course tomorrow we have Amongst the Trees, which is also another community favorite. Um, uh, BJ Callahan is, is a great guy. Um, but yeah, so uh, we also, uh, we're integrating with the public library uh, a little story time. So that's in the programs as well. Uh, they have two today and one tomorrow and that's sponsored by the Anderson branch of the, the library. Jeffrey Balashak, otherwise known as Artisan of Wood, JTB. And tell me about your art. I love to do functional folk art, um, stuff that we all can relate to. That's what folk art is. It's regional art. Um, mine is Americana, and I love to do functional art, so I make mostly clocks. And what do you think of this festival? It's been a great festival experience so far, even just being here a day, seeing so many fabulous artists here, I'm, I'm honored to be one of them. I didn't really expect it. And do you do a lot of these kind of festivals? I do, I do. Uh, I've started out where we used to live in New England, and um, I've been out California way, and now since my daughter and grandkids live in Columbia, South Carolina, I've relocated here and I'm working on the, this part of the East Coast, mostly Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Okay, H.C. Warner. And where are you from? Uh, I am out of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, just a scooch down the road. 
And have you been to this festival before? I have not. I have not. Uh, I think the closest, uh, my experience, it, it, uh, I think in Greenville, uh, I've done a show there. And uh, I, have, I used to be a camp counselor or a staff member in Toccoa, Georgia. So, I mean, I know that's not across the street, but that's the closest I think I've spent some time around here. So. What's your impression of this festival so far? Oh, I love it. Everybody's super friendly and like uh, I've had some great food last night, uh, which was merely across the street. Um, the weather, you can't beat it. Um, but you know, I think that uh, I needed to, to know about Pendleton. I think that that was the uh, inquiring minds, you know, so. I've been walking around. Nothing else here looks like your art. Tell, tell me a little bit about your art and your inspiration. Um, the, honestly, I it was never intending to be an artist. Uh, I took one painting class and I took a, a film class at UGA. Uh, which led more into uh, graphics, but I was a math major going in and uh, never really thought about pursuing art, but like this happened roughly 1991. I did my first solo show and that was at the UGA building. Um, and it just sort of evolved from there. I mean, I had day jobs and uh, got into the industry, worked to, from the apparel to amusement parks to, you know, uh, uh, any type of commodities. Uh, so I was well versed in like uh, computer design and that just got really old really quick uh, and decided to open a gallery in 2000 and that was in Atlanta and Buckhead and uh, the brick and mortar was was incredible experience but just I think it just whatever it is you just kind of let your heart tell you where you need to go and that's that's really what has happened. So all right, Carol, how many of these have you been to? I don't think in my time that I have ever missed a Spring Jubilee since 1978, when my sister uh, started the first one. And what you're from Pendleton, what, what's special about this event being in Pendleton? Well, the Spring Jubilee was uh, created to bring people to town, obviously, but it was to show off our downtown, our beautiful village green, to give the merchants an opportunity to have lots of people come in and out of their shops and restaurants. And over the, I guess, 40-something years, it's done just that. And did you order this weather today? Today's weather could not have been better. It is just right. It's not too hot. It's not too cold, so I feel a little bit like Goldilocks. And it looks like the crowds are getting bigger every year again. I uh, just rolled up, someone dropped me off so that uh, we didn't have to find a parking place. And I said as, as I was getting out of the car, how many people it looked like were here. And yes, I think it's beginning to build back after uh, the COVID year or two that, that kept us from having Spring Jubilee. But today just couldn't be better.